Okay, so for canvas number three, I quite like this as a background, so I'm not going to do much to that, I don't think. Um, so I've got a lovely Santoro gorgeous girl that I've stamped out with stays on ink. And I did that a couple of days ago, so it's nice and dry now. And I'm going to use these uh, Santoro pens from Dear Crafts, actually. I just want to grab this book. Because I've swatched all the colours in here, so I know what colour I need. It's hard to tell sometimes from the... Uh, from the pen themselves, if you know what I mean. So we have Santoro Willow. Da -da -da. I want the eighth one. One, two, three, four, eight. Here we go. Looks like I've not put the lid on that properly. Here we go. Now the easiest way to use these is to grab something like an acrylic block or a palette pad and put some pigment down. And then wet it and then you can paint with it so yeah this is some watercolour paper or cartridge paper I think that somebody sent me in some happy mail and I've just stamped on it we do that um, now in what colour do we do her dress uh, da -da -da. well if we think about the colours we've got in here I'm wondering if this sort of purpley colour will work nicely Closer to the colours we've got there, so we'll use that one. And try and get some nice shading in here. fantastic watercolour artist by any means so <laughs> please forgive me yeah I like that now then um yeah I can use this brownish colour for her hair
course the stays on ink is permanent so it won't move. Um, you don't want to use distress ink or anything like that because or pigment ink because that will move. And you'll probably end up with quite a muddy mess if you do this. No, let's try and add a bit more stronger pigment in places. Going over the bits that I want darker and then fade them out a little bit. There we go, that looks really nice. Um, and now I'm going to need a black for her shoes. I think I'm going to use the purple for her socks. And I always forget which way around to do this. I've just realised this one isn't wearing shoes, is she? These are socks. <laughs> the amount of times I've coloured this image, I've never noticed. There we go. And now the last thing I want to add is just very, very, very pale. Blush to her cheek. And then she's done. Pretty. So I'm going to go away and cut her out. Because you don't need to sit there and watch me do that. And I'll be right back. Okay. So that's my girl done. Um, I'm thinking that when I put her on here, she's going to need a bit of shading underneath the grounding. This has been coated with some varnish because I thought I was done with it. So that's not going to let me colour on top. So what I'm going to need to do is find my clear gesso. Should have done this before, sorry. Clear gesso. Clear gesso. Put a bit down. Grab a brush. some of the shine and it will allow me to work on top of the varnish with 
Let's mediums. Scrape my brush off into there. And give it a rinse. And put the bum. No, she's going to need some gel medium because she's quite heavy. So. I will try this and be back. Okay, so I gave her a little blast of the heat gun as well to make sure she's dry enough. Um, let's just go on the back of her. Don't want to use too much gel medium. Just make a mess everywhere. So. Her down. I think with this one I'll probably go over the top again with a varnish or something later but I'm not going to put any gel medium over the top now. I might even just gesso over the top. Clear gesso obviously. Um, so I've got to put my watercolours away so I'm going to use these as my little bit of shading underneath her to ground her so she doesn't look like she's floating on some weird yeah <laughs> so I'm going to use the ivory black because it's a little bit more uh, it's not as opaque as the lamp black under her but try not to get it on her it is resisting a little bit on the gesso because gesso is not really the medium for watercolours but it's it's doing a good enough job so it's fine there we go um now I'm gonna dry that off and have a think if we need just a little something in the background. I'm not sure if it's too sparse. I'm not sure. So well, I'll be back in a second. So I'm just going to try this. Uh oh, sorry, squeaky. Um, it's a brush cleaner for makeup brushes. But I bought it for this purpose. And I'm just going to test it on my scrap paper here. See what it looks like. It's quite nice actually. I think I'm going to use that. Again, well, this is the stays on gothic purple. Um, I'm going to pop that paper over her 
make sure I don't get any on her. Just gonna add just a little bit of interest to the background, but it's not gonna be a you know anything too big. Yep, very nice. And let's go this way. Yep. And zoom down here. And a little bit down here. And just a touch on the gaps. I need to put some more ink on. There we go. And then I think the last thing to add is a sentiment. Um, uh, there we go, wiggle that, wiggle that. Stamp that onto the paper, just clean it up a little. And what do we have? I found one that was quite nice. Oh, that was quite nice. Now, contented spirit. Daylight dreams. Yep, daylight dreams. Me. That might be a bit big actually. Contented spirit might fit a little better. Excuse me, my stomach is rolling. Um, let me just get my gel medium, which is here. it may still be missing a little something so bear me one second so I have this little heart stencil let's just clear some space a little bit I'm bring back this purple paint from another project and I'm gonna pop some stars in the corners
Just thinking, perhaps I should use either white or maybe just add some white to the purple. I'm going to pop some white here and use the same sponge, so it'll be a bit purpley. If that's a word, just made it up purpley. Um, and we'll go over that a little bit. Just not standing out very much on that background because it's quite a busy background. There we go, much better. And then we'll pop some on this side. One more little star up here. And maybe catch that one as well. And I think I can call that one done. As I say, once I've let that dry completely. I will pop a coat of something over the top just to protect her. And bring it all together into one. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope if you have found this that you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching. <laughs>